Hello everyone, I am teacher Mirike from English Central. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about simple past continuous tense. First, let's describe what simple past continuous tense is. It is used to describe actions that were in progress at a certain point in the past. It is formed by using the past tense of the verb to be, was were, followed by the ing version of the main verb. To form the simple past continuous tense, start by using was for singular subjects, I, he, she, it, and were for plural subjects, you, we, they. Then add the main verb in ing form. For example, I was studying or they were playing. You can follow the formula subject plus was were plus verb ing plus object. Now let's see some examples of how to use the simple past continuous tense in sentences. I was watching TV when she called. In this sentence, I was watching TV shows that the action was ongoing when she called happened. You were running yesterday. The action was happening in the past. He was doing his homework at school. He was at school when this action took place in the past. She was crying when I walked in on her. It means I caught her as she was crying. It was sleeping when the guests arrived. Guests arrived when it was asleep. They were studying all night for the exam. Here, they were studying tells us that the action was in progress at night. Do you like our examples? You know where to find more. English Central has more than 20,000 video lessons and 200 plus video courses. Click on the link below to visit our website EnglishCentral.com or download our app English Central to check out our educational materials. We also offer you one free lesson with our teachers so that you can check it all out for yourself. But for now, let's continue. The simple past continuous tense can be used with the time expressions like at this time yesterday, while, when and as. These expressions help us specify when the action was happening. Check out this example. She was cooking dinner when the guests arrived. When the guests arrived tells us when the ongoing action of cooking dinner was interrupted. Let me give you some tips about the expressions when and while since they are used very commonly. Tip 1. While while suggests an ongoing action. So, in the sentence, we need to put this expression before the continuous sentence. As an example, while they were sleeping, the mother checked the babies. Tip 2. When. When indicates a certain time. In the sentence, it comes before the simple past tense. As an example, the babies were sleeping when the mother checked them. Sometimes it's important to talk about the difference between the simple past tense and the simple past continuous tense. Simple past tense is used for completed actions, while the simple past continuous tense focuses on actions in progress in the past. See the examples. I had breakfast. Simple past. As you can see, the action is already completed. I was having breakfast, simple past continuous. In this sentence, we have was, which is a huge indicator that our sentence might be in simple past continuous tense. Plus our verb is in ing form, which makes it certain that our sentence is in fact in simple past continuous tense. Let's practice a little, what do you say? I'll give you sentences and you can try to rewrite them in the simple past continuous tense. You can type them down in the comment section and I will check them and give you feedback. He ran very fast. She sat at the park. The children ate quietly. They played a game together when the father showed up. 
Great job, everyone! You've learned how to use the simple past continuous tense in English. Remember, it's all about describing the ongoing actions in the past. Keep practicing and you'll master it in no time. Would you like to learn more? Keep watching our channel and you will find out. Or if you feel impatient, you can click on the link below and visit our website to learn more about it. If you like this video, please consider giving us a like, subscribe and click the notification bell. Don't forget to comment, I'm thrilled to see what you guys think. Also, I promised you that I will give you feedback on your rewritings. So please, please do. And until next time. Take care.